What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to what will be our final preview of Monster Hunter Rise. And we're pulling out one of my favorite weapons, the Insect Lathe. Um, now, it's not to say I don't like the weapons I haven't showcased. I actually have a lot of fun with, with Greatsword and, you know, counterplay with Lance. Uh, but at least in the demo, I wasn't a big fan of the wire bug abilities some of them have, like the Greatsword Leaping Smash. Bro, I whiffed that ability, like, 95% of the time. Um, so with all that in mind, I wanted to showcase the Insect Glaive because while I'm not a big fan of the abilities the Insect Glaive has, I am a big fan of some of the changes that it is getting in Rise. Namely, changes to back to what Insect Glaive used to be. Now those of you that have played the old Monster Hunters and played Insect Glaive may be aware that Insect Glaive used to get a variety of very, very useful buffs when it picked up all of its extracts. Uh, we had some earplugs, we had some flinch free, we had some tremor resist, and those buffs still existed in world, but they were significantly hampered. Like, I mean, like you, you basically, you did not get full earplugs. You had to pick up like an extra two points in earplugs to get earplugs large. Uh, and so a lot of people were kind of like, well, you know, this, this, this sucks. This is not the insect wave that I'm used to. Uh, and I am pleased to report that in Rise, we are getting back full buffs on the insect wave. What this basically means is just having your extracts means you have full earplugs. Big boy earplugs, not not little weak monster earplugs. I'm talking get in the face of a Rathi in earplugs. So, really, really happy to see those buffs coming on back. I mean, these are things that are just, they're just awesome. You know, I'm so happy that we are getting these buffs back again because I love IG and seeing that we are getting uh, our buffs once again. Wow, the snowball is just super nice. So, uh, anyway, besides that, IG is, is pretty straightforward. You know, same as it's always been. Um, we actually are, our, our current uh, safe line attacks aren't really that good, I'll say. Um, right now we have access to a, uh, right now we have access to this weird little retreat move, which I'm not, I don't know, I have not had luck making it work. What it's supposed to do is it's supposed to pull back your Kinsect along with refilling its stamina and then leaving healing dust all over the place. And even with him marked, I have not actually seen uh, this, this you know, healing dust or any of this stuff that's supposed to happen, happen. Well, it would help if my Kinsect was... Get out and attack him for a bit. We'll, we'll try. We'll try. Um, beyond that, the other one is just... It's an aerial vault. It's basically identical to our vault of, uh... Aerial vault back in GU. So, yeah, retreats like that. Brings back our Kinsect. The hole is supposed to leave a healing dust. I've not had any luck seeing that healing dust yet. Oh my god, that's a little bit of a heal. That time I... real fast. A better, it's a slightly, slightly better heal than I thought it was. Still not really sold on it though. What I am excited for is from uh, from what I've looked at in the data mine. Um, supposedly, 
So the, the big attack that we're missing is from Iceborne we had access to this dragon dive thing where you, you'd slam down into the target and it was so good. It was one of my favorite things to do. Um, and supposedly we are getting access to that again. Supposedly it's coming in the form of... Uh, it'll be coming back to us in the form of a... Wirebucket uh, So if that is the case, I am super pumped for that. Because that ability was super good. Beat your ass, Rathian. Kind of funny though, because I'm coming into the demo. I know my uh, my initial perceptions of the insect layer were like, oh, nothing's really changed, and then suddenly noticed that I had earplugs out to my buffs, and was like, wait a minute, and then suddenly noticed, oh, this is the aerial ball, which is good for mountain, and then saw the data mine, and was like, oh, so yeah, IG is going to be in a wonderful, wonderful spot come release, which is great, because I mean, there really wasn't anything wrong with IG in, in World. Um, but they just, they took it and they really cleaned up the things that used to make it really good. So we're... There we go. struggling way more than I should to oh no did not mean to hit the head again It also feels like we have like zero hit lag. I don't know if that's intentional, but.
Oh. oh go, 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 go. No, get back here. Ah, he's running away from me. Right when my buffs fall off, too. This is this is my only thing I don't like about IG is right now I'm sitting at a spot where it's like I really want to do something with all of the uh, with all the wire bug charges I have, but I just don't have much. And obviously, like I said, this is this is a uh, this is a problem that will immediately become negligible upon release because I will have access to the dragoon dive and a variety of other abilities that I could use. Something to really start pushing out damage. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised I haven't gotten a second mount as uh, as much mounting damage as I've been doing to him. Figure if there was any weapon that was going to be capable of getting one, would have been uh, oh, G. God, I can't wait for long. She kills me. I'm gonna end up doing it. Freaking videos of every single weapon just so that I can I have an excuse to keep playing. <laughs> God, he's just running for his life. Get back here. You should be dead by now. You know what? We're going to make sure he does not get away. I didn't want to have to grab this, but it gave me a little choice. Obnoxious Hasrathian. Drive by heel and a big old ball of water that we're coming at his face with. Oh 
no, you don't. Oh, get all oh, that little shit. Bro, I swear to God, this Rathian is ridiculous. Every time, every time I'm about to start smashing, it's like, oh shit, gotta go. Oh, it's attacking me again, gotta go. Oh god, it hit me with the water bite, gotta go. Like, bro, you need to not do this. I'm gonna need you to stay still, and I'm gonna need you to die. There's zero chance of you getting out of this scenario alive. And the sooner you realize that, the faster we can all get on with our lives. I know you can climb this, come on, doggo. Okay, hold on. I'm about to say, I'm like, I know for a fact I can... It's actually already, there's videos of people, uh, using the insect glaive alongside of the, uh, they use the insect glaive along with the wire bugs to literally cross the entire map. Um, they gotta use barrel bombs as well, but somebody did a, a video. Oh, I whiffed that! Oh no! Anyway, someone did a video going from zone 13 all the way to the base camp, just flying, literally. And I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Which is, uh, that's impressive, you know? You need to stop running away. When I say it's time to die, it's time to die. Finicky little bitch. Did not want to go down. Anyway. With him dead, we are going to wrap things up, though. Um, like I said, more than likely, this is probably going to be our final preview. Um, there's still a lot to do, but honestly, I want to practice with some of the other weapons, just because I feel like I'm pretty sloppy at the moment with uh, with Charge Blade, with Greatsword, which doesn't make sense, because I play them, but... <laughs> I'm just really sloppy with them and rise. So either way, thanks for tuning on in. Um, honestly, if, I'm, I'm sure we're probably going to get another demo closer to launch. I'm just, I'm super excited for this game. That's all I can, I can really say is I just, I want more. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch y'all next time.